Hi, my name is Federica Abramo and in this lesson we will introduce what is collaborative learning and how it can be used in lectures, classrooms or group projects. This video will be divided into three sections. First, we will give a brief definition of collaborative learning and what is the teacher professor's role. Then, we will explain the multiple ways in which students and all people involved in group projects can benefit through collaborative learning. And at the end, we will reflect on the role of technology as support to collaborative learning. First of all, we want to ask ourselves, what is collaborative learning? Collaborative learning is an umbrella term for different educational approaches which involve mutual intellectual effort by students or both students and teachers or researchers working together in a group project. The main aim is to achieve a common goal, which might be solving a problem, completing a task, learning a new concept, or even creating a product. During this time, people involved are expected to be demonstrating an active learning and to take responsibility for, the, for their own learning. Throughout the entire experience, they should also be reflecting on things such as their own assumptions and their thought process. In all of this, the teacher's professor's role is not to transmit knowledge, but to act instead as more of a facilitator, an expert designer of intellectual experiences for students. The main aim is therefore to incite a more emergent learning process in people involved in the experience. The teacher professors should also assign group roles in advance if needed, depending on the age of the participants and their level of expertise. During the entire process, he also monitors students and then assesses their individual performance and contribution to the working group. But what are the benefits of collaborative learning? Most importantly, it enhances the development of fundamental skills, especially for our time. This involves collaboration, critical thinking and problem solving, communication, self-management and leadership skills. Additionally, students and participants involved become active partners in the learning experience rather than mere passive consumers of knowledge. Instead of receiving the knowledge, they are creating it. Therefore, learning becomes an active and constructive process in which all actors co-create and discover knowledge on their, own, on their own. The fact that all people are actively involved in the learning process enhances their overall interest in the entire experience. The use of technology as support to collaborative learning makes sharing interaction and collaboration between all the participants of a working group much easier. Moreover, constant communication and contribution between students sharing their steps throughout the entire process of learning can create a sense of social presence, which is especially important for collaborative learning situations with no in-person interaction, as we experienced it during the pandemic period. Incorporating technology into collaborative learning can raise student motivation to work and learn both intrinsically and extrinsically. It also empowers a students' understanding of technology and therefore strengthening their attitudes toward digital tools in a positive way. Last but not least, incorporating technology increases participants' satisfaction in the end result, outcome or product of the overall collaborative learning process. Thank you for your attention. Please read the text down below to gain more information about collaborative learning and research and then an answer to the question of the activity. We will meet again in the next video.